are watching K8 News Midday with Diana Davis and meteorologist Aaron Castleberry. Ready to kick back and relax? Well, this is your place. Wapapella Lake is hosting music in the park this Saturday. Joining us now is Andrew Jefferson with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers at Wapapella Lake. Thank you so much for making the drive down well, we here. We appreciate the invite as always. This event that you've been telling us about, it's a favorite. It's been going on for it's a while. It's been going on for at least 20 years, at wow. least. Uh, it happens in the Memorial Day weekend, which actually kicks off the summer recreation season. We have uh, different groups that will be performing live music. It's free, don't cost anything. We have uh, the McAtee singers, Grace Hicks. She's a young lady, uh, plays the guitar, country western singer. Plus we have uh, Buzzard Run. And we have a new group called the uh, Missouri Bluegrass Group. But all this takes place at the Redmond Creek Recreation Area, which is down the hill behind the visitor center. Uh, shelter number two is free to attend, starts off at 12 o'clock. Uh, we want you to come on out, enjoy yourself, bring your favorite blankets or lawn chairs, and just have a, a good afternoon of listening to some good old gospel bluegrass music. And, and no charge. I mean, No charge. It's free. And so this really sets the tone, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. for the summer, and safety yes. is always key. Safety is always important. Uh, that's at the top of our list. Um, this Memorial Day weekend actually kicks off National Safe Boating Week. So we encourage folks, if you're going to be out on the lakes or rivers or any bodies of water, uh, boating, to make sure you wear your life jackets. The uh, slogan that we use now is life jackets worn, nobody mourns. But mm -hmm. I also add something to that. We'd rather see you wear a life jacket than a toe tag. Uh -huh. And we do have life jacket loaner stations all around the lake. So there's no excuse for not having a life jacket on. And so many times people forget, you know, over the winter, they mm -hmm. get out of the habit and then they get in the boat and they think, well, I'll put that on later. Right. That's not. That's not a good do. idea. Uh, you should have your life jacket on because most of the drownings that occur, people um, find themselves falling into the water out of a boat or whatever uh, unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's much more difficult to put on a life jacket, well, to try to put it on when you're in the water rather than when you're in the boat. So always uh, both smart from the start, wear your life jacket because life jackets and seat belts do save lives. And parents need to also be very aware of where your children are yes. all the time around yes. the water. Because it only takes, uh, Diana, uh, 20 to 30 seconds for a child to drown. So that's why it's important for parents to put those cell phones down if necessary. Make sure that you are vigilant and you keep an eye on your child or children at all times because one drowning is always one too many. Yes, now how can we find uh, Wapapella Lake? Well, if you're traveling uh, from the Sykeson area, you'll be going 60 west, hit Highway AA, and it will take you straight to the uh, location. Do not cross the dam. Oh. If you cross the dam, you've gone too far, but there will be signs on the highway you would turn in at the uh, visitor center and just follow the road down the hill and uh, you'll be there. Andrew Jefferson, always great to have you here. We appreciate you making the drive down here to Jonesboro and and all the fun to be had there, <laughs> yeah. especially since it sounds like Aaron's going to deliver on the weather, right, Aaron? You know, I think we'll have a